But we saw him here earlier. He's, He's fine. Good. He's All good. is good. That's good. Yeah. Second, second place <laughs> next year. They're moving up. Last year was third, so we'll get there. Oh, dear. All right. It turned out to be a decent day today, and uh, that's kind of how it was billed, right? We had some clouds earlier, but we broke out over western and southern Maine into the mountains, and it was a nice afternoon. Fortunately, the sun's setting earlier and earlier, and so we're kind of waning that sun angle already. Got a couple of showers out there into Canada and uh, talked about how the models were really much more juiced up than what's happening. And so there might be an isolated sprinkle come through here later today uh, into this evening, but it's not going to be widespread. You can see the, the lines having a hard time. So tonight we go down into the 30s and then 40s along the coastline and the warmest over down East Maine where it might be 48, 49 degrees by early tomorrow morning. So not unseasonably cool. You will notice that the normal or average low is 39 or 40. Uh, it's cooler up in Caribou, obviously, but that's for most of the state. Our buyer forecast looking good. Tomorrow's a nice bright day. Sunny. Temperatures don't, you know, pop up that much, but we get to around 60 degrees by the afternoon. With the sun, that's good enough. Nice deep blue skies. A lot of good color out there to check out. And uh, then even on Wednesday, we start chilly. We start, though, with sun, and it's not until the afternoon that clouds start moving in. And then here comes our nor'easter that will move in Wednesday night into Thursday, and it is going to get pretty nasty overnight. Thursday morning looks pretty terrible, uh, rainy, windy. That continues through the middle of the day into the afternoon, pulling down enough cool air for some mountain mixing, especially into New Hampshire. And then it moves out on uh, Thursday night. So let's take a look at this storm from farther away and you can see it's a classic coastal nor'easter where it transfers energy from inland to a coastal low and then sits offshore here through Thursday, Thursday afternoon, then finally stacks itself out of here on Thursday night. Now it's going to be wet, inch and a half to two inches of rain in a lot of spots, but the real key here is how windy are these winds. And so uh, where we're playing it right now is wind gusts on Thursday morning up to 50 miles an hour. But the difference between 50 miles an hour and 60 is pretty large in the damage scale. So we'll keep an eye on that. Right now, I think we should be in the scattered power outage uh, lane, but we'll keep an eye and make sure that we don't pop any higher than that because, again, the difference between 50 and 60 for winds when you still have foliage is, is big. Uh, we'll be clearing out on Friday. The trade-off looks uh, good. The weekend looks good. Saturday and Sunday, both around 60 and sunny. So again, if we're, if we're 48, 49, we'll be okay. Some trees will come down, won't be a big deal. You know, 59, 60, we've, we've learned is a different, different ball game. And so uh, we're at 50 right now, but obviously we'll, uh, we'll watch it. Okay. okay. You're going to tell everybody about the butterflies. Oh, I am supposed to read that. Yeah. I don't, you know I don't read the words. Well, <laughs> when you guys are here, I can't. Right. That's how, contractually. <laughs> National <laughs> Weather Service. <laughs> National Weather Service. Come on, prompter. All right. Well, All I don't know. Right. Okay, I don't need it. Service. I don't need it. I actually don't need it because I know what's going on here. So these are uh, butterflies and dragonflies that were caught on the radar in Oklahoma. So Are we've, you kidding we've me? We've talked about this uh, before in a brain drops about how you can catch yeah. insects. Um, you can catch bats. They catch them down in Texas a lot, bats. Um, anything but that flies in a formation. Um, we'll show sure. up. The radar, radar will bounce. Will bounce. So now, cool. sometimes it'll get hidden by actual rain, or in, and then you don't see it. Right. But on a day like that, when it's clear, they know just by the motion and the fact that there's no rain around, they're, yeah, they're something watching else. something, and then people usually call it. That's so interesting. That's fascinating. Out, so. We don't see seagulls, by the way, because they don't they don't fly in that kind of organized yeah, right. fashion. Right. They just organize to poop on your car. Right. right. Actually, yes. <laughs> we did, we did that see that. We did see that organization once. They are, they are they're evil. That's right why. over the Cumberland Club, us. they organize very well. <laughs> right. Yes, they do. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Keith.